Although he was a political scientist and economist, his writings on these subjects are not known to Stephen Leacock, instead he is well recognized for his clever stories and sense of humor, which continue to influence authors and comedians today. Stephen Leacock, if he were still with us, would agree that a good sense of humor can get you through almost anything. Leacock was undoubtedly the world's best-known humorist and most renowned Canadian a century ago. His writings and novels, such as Sunshine Sketches of a Little Town, had earned him notoriety and money. His writing influenced the careers of future legends such as Jack Benny and Groucho Marx. Nevertheless, as amusing as Leacock may be, he had and always had much to laugh about. His family relocated from England, where they had been relatively affluent, to the small village of Egypt, Ontario. However, their Canadian farm failed, and his father became an alcoholic who abused his wife and children. It was up to Stephen to stand up to his own father and kick him out of the house. Stephen, a brilliant student, had to pay his way through university by accepting teaching jobs, which he despised. He began attempting to sell his stories to publications in order to earn additional money for school, despite the fact that his true interests were economics and politics. Leacock rose through the ranks to become the director of the political economy department at McGill University in Montreal. His stories had taken off by that point, and his renown had begun to spread over the world. But back then, Leacock struggled. He had married a wealthy young woman, and they had attempted to produce a child for 15 years. Then, 11 years later, their lone kid was born with a birth defect, and Leacock's wife died of cancer. Stephen Leacock maintained his exceptional sense of humor despite all of his personal issues and the aggravation of having his political science and economic work neglected in favor of his amusing anecdotes. That sense of humor not only helped him get through some difficult moments, but it also ensured him a place in history. Every year, the Stephen Leacock Award is given to Canada's funniest writer, and Leacock's books can still be found in classrooms and libraries across the country, not his dry works on politics and economics, but collections of witty tales and parodies that maintain his reputation as a man who made the world laugh. Advertising, a judicious mixture of flattery and threats. Stephen Leacock. He flung himself from the room, flung himself upon his horse and rode madly off in all directions. Stephen Leacock. I am a great believer in luck, and I find the harder I work, the more I have of it, Stephen Leacock. The man who made the world laugh. Stephen Leacock.